Hey guys, 8-Bit Dave here, and I just wanted to share with you a news story that just popped up in the last hour or so. So, it appears that uh, Craig Wright uh, has been to court in Florida, and according to a story published by Brendan J. Sullivan on Modern Consensus, Craig Wright's been ordered to pay Ira Kleiman nearly 500,000 BTC. Now the judge ordered this and Craig Wright says he's going to comply. So if that's the case and he does comply and he has all those keys, then uh, I guess he isn't fake Toshi, but the Satoshi or at least part of the team with uh, Dave Kleinman, the deceased. This has some interesting consequences for BTC in that uh, Ira Kleiman, who receives the BTC, he'll have to pay taxes on the inheritance, which means he's going to have to dump a huge portion of it, which will probably drive BTC down at some point. Um, I mean, the value of 500k BTC is in the billions. And unless he's got a billion dollars kicking around to pay taxes, he will have to sell some of it. Interestingly enough, in the interview where uh, Brendan asked him the question, will this affect uh, coins on the other chains? Craig said no, because the judge said um, he had to surrender the keys for everything they work together on. So he can, simply could uh, move his coins on BSV to other addresses and uh, they would be safe and they're not part of the judge's verdict at all. So I'm going to be watching this and see what happens. I mean, uh, it would be huge to see hundreds of thousands of BTC moving. It... Uh, might cause a little bit of a panic in the market. It's very interesting times in crypto right now. So we'll see what happens. One other thing that I wanted to mention that I noticed tonight as well is the CEO of Overstock uh, has had a, how do we say it, a very unusual um, interview with Fox Business where he claims the deep state uh, was asking him to, I don't know, get involved in things to do with Hillary and Trump. And uh, he resigned from his post of CEO of Overstock.com. So this is huge news. The stock responded by going up uh, initially and we'll see where that goes. And why do I mention this? Uh, well, the CEO of Overstock, he uh, is a big supporter of Ravencoin and in previous interviews admits to having funded the development of Ravencoin to the tune of millions of dollars. So if he ends up being arrested or as he claims Washington is going to grind him into dust or he's going to as you conspiracy theorists might say, uh, disappear in the next few weeks from suicide or something else. Uh, it might have a negative effect on the Ravencoin project as it seems like he was a really big backer of that. I encourage you all to watch that interview on uh, Fox Business Insider. I'm going to have a link in the description below. And I'm also going to have a link to the Modern Consensus article. Uh, check it out. Um, I just kind of threw this video together at the last minute only because it is such big news coming out in such a time span. And I hope uh, you all have a good evening or a good morning depending on what time you're in. Thanks for watching.